In OBS Studio, go to the settings, set up your microphone, then create a new scene. In this new scene, add application audio capture devices for each application that you need to send audio. Add the scene we just created to all your existing scenes, then activate the Twitch UD track. Lastly, do the audio routing and you're done. In this quick tip tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use OBS Studio to separate audio and split all your channels only using OBS. In order to achieve this, we're going to add a new scene in OBS, which we use as an audio controller. In that scene, we're using the new OBS feature, Application Audio Capture, to capture the audio for each application that we need to send audio through the stream. Then we use that audio controller scene and embed it into other scenes whenever we need audio. This tutorial was requested by people who would like to use the Twitch VOD track feature, however don't want to install any third-party software like voice meter or virtual audio cable. As a quick reminder, the Twitch VOD track feature is a feature from Twitch which allows you to send two separate audio streams, one stream going to the live stream and the other stream going to the Twitch VOD. This allows you to, for example, send music to only your live stream, but then exclude the music from your Twitch VODs to avoid DMCA takedowns. Before we start with the step-by-step -step tutorial, if you already have added some audio sources to your scenes, I highly recommend you delete them right now. In the first step, we are going to add our microphone to OBS. To do that, we go to settings, the audio tab, and then we go to the first entry named mic slash auxiliary audio. Here we select our microphone. In my case, this is an Elgato Wave XLR. And in case you have any other physical audio devices you need for your streams, for example, a second microphone, you would add this one at your mic slash auxiliary audio input too. You press apply. OK, and from now on, your microphone will be visible in the audio mixer. In step number two, we create our audio control scene. To do that, we take the scene that already exists and we rename it to audio control. Unfortunately, the new application audio capture is not able to hook into full screen windows, just like the game capture. So we need to create a separate source for each game and every application that ever needs to send audio to our live stream. So in my example, we're going to add a source for Minecraft. To do that, we first need to start the application. Once the game is running, we go to the plus sign, select application audio capture. In here, give it a name. In my case, I'm going to call it Minecraft audio. Then under window, select the game, press OK. And now we have added a separate audio source for Minecraft. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to add a second game. In this case, it will be Planet Coaster. So first, we start the game, add another application audio capture, give it the name, select Planet Coaster, hit OK. And as we can see, we already get audio from that as well. Let's close this and move on to the next application, which in my case will be Spotify, that we need to play music during the live stream. So we create a new application audio capture. We call it Spotify Audio. We select the Spotify application and hit OK. And when we head over to Spotify to play some music, we indeed get the confirmation that OBS is capturing the music. Lastly, let's add another source for Discord. First, open Discord, then go to the settings, set the appearance to light mode so you can form a lot of interactions in the comment section. Then go to OBS, add another application audio capture, give it a name, select Discord and hit OK. And just as a reminder, you have to repeat this process with every application you want to use. So if you want to react to some YouTube videos, you have to add your Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. And once we're done with the audio control scene setup, we can move on to either create new scenes or add the audio control scene to your existing ones. In my example, I'm going to create a new scene really quick. So we add a new scene, we add our display capture, throw in a webcam and lastly we now need to add our existing scene to our scene and in case you don't already know how to do this we click onto the plus sign we select scene and in here we select our existing scene that we just created the audio control scene add that to our scene and as you just saw this will add all our audio sources to the new scene and the reason for that is if we have multiple scenes that use the audio control scene and we want to add or remove an application from our audio control, we can simply do this to our audio control scene rather than going through all our scenes that we have and adding and removing it to each and every scene where we need it. With all of this done, we can move on to the next step, which is enabling the Twitch VOD track. To do this, we go to settings output and if you are in simple output mode you only have to tick enable custom encoder settings 
and then tick Twitch VOD track uses track 2. In case you are in advanced output mode, you have to enable the Twitch VOD track in the stream settings. Simply tick the Twitch VOD track and then make sure track number 2 is selected. Technically, you can use any other track besides track number 1, but this tutorial will show you how to do it with track number 2. So if you want to follow along, use track number 2. If you're not seeing a setting for a Twitch VOD track, go to stream and make sure you have selected Twitch as your service. Once you select the Twitch as your service, the Twitch VOD track feature will be available in the settings. The last step before we can start streaming with the Twitch VOD track feature is we need to do the audio routing. In order to do that, we go to the audio mixer and then select settings. And in here, we need to select which audio source is going to what track. Don't worry, it's not that complicated. I will explain. In this window, you will find each audio source that you have previously added to a scene. The only thing that we have to care about is the section at the very right, the tracks section. This defines to which tracks this source is sending its audio. If we think back just a couple of seconds, we decided that track number two should be the Twitch VOD track, which means that everything that is sent to track number two will be audible in the Twitch VOD. So this means for us, if we want to have an audio source not to be audible in the Twitch VOD, we need to make sure that this source is not sending audio to the Twitch VOD track, which is track number two. So in our case, we don't want music in the Twitch VOD. So we have to make sure that our music application, in this case, Spotify, is not sending its audio to track number two. So make sure that track number two is not ticked for whatever application you are using to play music for your streams. You can close this window and you're good to go. And with that said, hey, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, and if you have any questions about this video, feel free to join the Creator Exchange Discord server, which link is in the video description down below, or simply write your question as a comment below this video. I will try my very best to answer all your questions. And as always, if this video helped you, let me know by either liking the video or writing a comment. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure to follow this channel. And as always, I will see you in another video. Probably a video that is right now here on the end card. So go ahead and click, click one of those two videos. I'll see you there. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. Bye.